Today I'd like to do a global update for June 15th, 2020. I wanted to start this video with a reminder of why I started this company, Strive for More Preparedness. My goal uh, this whole time and continues to be, I want to have a, an avenue to educate and direct people where to go to, if they need to purchase stuff, purchase stuff where to learn stuff, if I can give them information that's great, if not I can direct them to where they need to go because I want the whole planet, all of Earth, uh, you know, rich, poor, everywhere from, uh, you know, an island in the ocean to the big high rise in big cities around the world. I want everyone to be as prepared as they can for the unexpected. Whether that's the power going out, civil unrest, uh, financial collapse, or just your car not starting. I want everyone to be as prepared as possible and I hope that this channel is a way to help people do that. So with that said, I'm going to move on to number two, which is number one basically for the update. The global economy based on the BBC, the GDP drop, these are the expected numbers right now for the year of 2020 by the end. Russia dropped by 8%, Argentina is probably gonna drop by 8.3%, Italy, they're looking at a drop of 11.3%, France, 11.4%, United Kingdom, 11.5%. Again, that's the forecast they're looking at. In the US, our official unemployment numbers have gone up, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, unemployment rate has gone down, the employment has gone up, it has gone up as of these last numbers. Uh, it has dropped 1.3%. The numbers are still at 13.3%. That being said, most everywhere I look, they usually say there's a 5% discrepancy in the official number. Moving on to the pandemic. Right now in the United States, there seems to be a rise in the cases, whether that's from the protest rioting or it's just because people are opening back up. And then in China, there's also a rise as of a day or two ago. Uh, they said that in Beijing, China said that in Beijing, there is a possible outbreak that's occurring at a major meat market there. Number four, the locusts, they haven't gone away yet. They've actually gotten worse. This is from The Guardian. The African swarm that was planned to have died out in the dry season is actually growing that was in Africa. And it's growing because there's unexpected, um, there's unexpected rain from uh, basically from Africa to India. And so I've got a list of that right here. Uh, right now, the spread of the locusts are from Kenya through Saudi Arabia and Iran to Pakistan and India. So basically that whole swath going up through Africa, over, across, into India. That piece right there is what <clears throat> the locusts seem to be swarming at. There are hot spots and not hot spots. But the issue is they've already been devastated for the last year. And the problem is these locusts eat so much and the swarms are so large that again, like I've said before, they are eating uh, the food of the animals that live there, so the crops for the animals. They are also eating the crops for humans. And so that means that farmers and others are having to go in and they can't sell their food, so cities and people are having to go spend more to get food. And from a few things I've read from the BBC and a few others and on the um, African news side, they are starting to have civil disputes inside of Africa because people need to feed their animals, like you know cows and stuff, uh, and they're not able to with the crop they have. And that's causing some farmers to start to encroach because otherwise their livestock's gonna die because some people cannot afford to purchase feed. It's a pretty dire situation. Number five, a section of Seattle has been claimed by Antifa and bans law enforcement. 
There are multiple reports of businesses and people that are having to pay to live there. So if you had an apartment there, you're having to pay. Uh, if you have a business there, you have to pay for your business not to be ransacked. That's coming from the uh, city press briefings of Seattle. In addition to that, um, the area that was formerly known as downtown Seattle, as of um, at this point probably a week ago, it is now called the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone or CHAZ. And uh, lines have physically been erected on the edges of this area that has seceded from the United States. They do not recognize the authority of the United States. The mayor of Seattle encourages this activity and the president of the United States condemns this activity. I have not been able to verify, but Fox News has reported Antifa is attempting to do the same in Portland. And as of uh, this morning, which is Sunday, because I'm gonna release this on Monday, as of this morning on Sunday, I have seen multiple uh, news reports of footage from people on site in Nashville. And it looks like Nashville is starting to try and do the same thing. Number six, this is gonna cover the riots. There are riots globally at this point. Uh, it, for the most part started in the United States, now has grown globally. And around the world, uh, rioters are starting to tear down historical statues. They are starting to desecrate government buildings of all kinds. They are starting to destroy government vehicles of all kinds. And uh, what's hard right now is the lines, like I've said in several videos before, kind of leading up to where we are now, the lines have been drawn before and they're getting harder and harder uh, to see a blur in between. Um, it is becoming more and more prevalent that you are either you know, on the left or you're on the right and there's not really a middle ground, at least publicly. I, I know countless people that personally disagree with that, but from the media standpoint, that's where we are. And I feel like to boil it down, it is either um, you are against law enforcement or you are for law enforcement. And Tim Cast did a really good video uh, kind of breaking that down. And he, at least from what I feel like when I watch him, he seems fairly objective on, uh, at least politically, he seems fairly objective. And he said the same thing. What he's noticed is there seems to be a, that's where the line seems to be drawn. And that's where we are now. Number seven, shelves are starting to be stocked again. And that's at most grocery stores here in the United States that I've seen. Uh, a lot of the paper goods that were very hard to find are starting to be more prevalent, especially at places like Sam's and other items like uh, dish soap and bleach are all starting to come back. Dawn, I'm a big fan of Dawn. Dawn's been, um, there every every time we've gone for the last few times and uh, same with bleach bleach is in large quantity same with basic cooking goods so that's a really good sign the whole you know wipe stuff that's still gone that's still probably going to go to healthcare, as especially with this next spike going on number eight this last week radio free asia reported that a chinese flag vessel has rammed a vietnamese flag vessel in the disputed south china sea the flag Chinese vessel took the people aboard. They stole, the, confiscated or stole, I guess, whichever side you're on, um, their GPS and about one ton of fish that they fished from. The boat was starting to sink and the Chinese flag vessel allowed a few of the Vietnamese to go back on to start pumping their ship. I don't know the outcome of that. And in addition to the South China Sea, on uh, for the first time in several years, uh, some full carrier strike groups are there based on the news I've read uh, to patrol the South China Sea to defend the U.S. interests and islands that are over there from China using this opportunity of um, kind of a, a global downturn, uh, pandemic, economic, all the things. and. Uh, 
the U.S. is in there trying to make sure that the allies we have there are safe. Number nine, uh, if anyone is looking at the uh, shelves and stores for ammo and that kind of thing, they are looking really bleak. There's a lot of people that have either been uh, pro firearm and have been purchasing and are purchasing more ammunition, or based on all the news articles, there are a lot of people that were uh, anti-firearms and now they are interested in some kind of protection because if the police are busy and can't come, you are needing to defend yourself in some way. And uh, that kind of leads me into bulkammo.com. That's where uh, I like to get a lot of my stuff from. That's the, pretty much the only place I get stuff from for the last few years. And uh, they don't have the mass quantity they used to, <clears throat> but they do have large amounts of uh, ammunition of all kinds. And we ordered some and the shipping time from ordering to at our doorstep I think was two or three days. So it's very, very fast. Number 10, Thrive for freeze dried food if you're wanting to increase your food storage. Thrive, it does have more stuff. Uh, a lot of their things are starting to uh, come back on the shelf, but it seems like it's half. So like their protein meat section is about half uh, of what it was, um, you know, out of stock and in stock, and that's good. So you just have to kind of watch if that's something you're wanting to do and you're wanting to build up a freeze dried uh, home store. Thrive, from my opinion, is the healthiest option. There's a link below to Thrive and uh, they have really good options. And if you want to do that at this current, you know, history part um, with things going on, you just want to check on a regular basis if there's something they don't have that you want because it seems like it's starting to come in. It's just, it goes out quick. Number 12, I wanted to try and have some kind of happy with everything that's going on. There was a business in Dallas here that was looted um, pretty aggressively when everything was getting hot outside um, a week ago, I guess at this point. And uh, when I say hot, I mean violent. Uh, and the store owner was able to raise from donations, I think the final number was something around $100,000 to help with rebuilding her inventory, fixing the store. And there was a great article from uh, CBS DFW that uh, showed volunteers from all over North Texas that came and volunteered to sweep and clean and board up and straighten up stuff. And it was just really nice to see. I've seen that in a few other places around the country. And it's just nice to see with everything going on, there's uh, still a glimpse of humanity out there. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy. I hope you are learning something from this uh, to grow from. And if you are looking for news articles, I'm trying to put relevant news articles globally on my Facebook page, which is Strive for More Preparedness. I'll put a link to that below. Um, and you can also get to it from my website at sfmpro.com, and that's linked below also. Thank you for watching.